there, you lovely people. We're going to talk about modeling the multiplication and division of fractions. When we model, let's start with multiplication. I want you to think of rows times columns, right? RC, like think RC cola, right? Like that kind of Coke knockoff, right? So RC cola, right? So say we have like one fourth times two thirds. Well, when I model something, it's a picture. I'm taking a picture of something. So I'm going to show the fraction one fourth. Well, let's just like color it. So let's do the highlighter. I want to let me do the highlighter. All right, well, we'll just color in black. It's fine. All right, so one fourth, right? If I colored one out of four rows, that shows the fraction one fourth. We can agree. Well, if I go over to my columns and I color two thirds, right, that shows a fraction two thirds. When I model the multiplication of fractions, I'm going to take those two images and I overlap them together. And I kind of create this grid. So let's again show our fractions. One fourth, one out of the four rows are colored. And then I had two thirds, two out of the three columns. When I overlap those two models, those two examples, right, those two, those two pictures of fractions, I create all of these littler squares, right, these kind of little sections. Really, they're rectangles for this, but they should be little squares. So when I create those, that would become the denominator, how many total I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little squares. My numerator is this double colored section. Two of those 12 squares have red and black, which that is then my numerator. So that means that one fourth times two thirds is two twelfths. Well, let's check. One times two is two, four times three is 12. That is true. My answer can be simplified, right? That's really one six, but my model shows that I have two colored out of 12, which means I have one colored for every six. There's a really cool website to practice this model multiplication called Geo. Gebra. GeoGebra? GeoGebra? I don't know how to say it. All right, anyways, let's move on. You guys know my, my reading skills. So say I have one-fifth, and I want to multiply it by six-sevenths. So I type in my two fractions, and then when I hit go, it'll overlap them for me. So I kind of get this gridded effect, right? So again, my denominator right on this thing, is how many little boxes do I have? Well, I have a five by seven, which means there's 35 little boxes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six are double colored. I kind of created that new color with those. So again, you're looking at rows times columns. To figure it out, let's try another one. So let's try one third, oops, one slash three, one slash three, one third, and let's reset, sorry, one third, and then two fifths. So I have my two fractions. Once I overlap them, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total squares and two of them are double colored. So one third times two fifths is two fifteenths, right? So that's just a simple way of seeing how to model multiplication. You also have to know how to read a model. So if we look at your, ex your activity for today, Oops, let's bring it closer to us. We want to know how to read a model. So here we go. We have six examples of multiplication of fractions. So when I look at the model, I want to look first at rows, then columns. So here I have one, two rows, 
one is fully colored in. So that fraction is one half. I have one, two, three columns. One of them is fully colored in. So that's one third. So my equation would be one half times one third is one six. One out of the six squares are double colored. Let's look at one more example together. And then we'll talk about dividing fraction models. All right, so down here, I look at rows. One, two, three rows. One is fully colored in. So there's one third. One, two, three, four columns. Two are fully colored in. So that's two fourths. So I'm looking for one third times two fourths. And remember, I can switch the order, rows times columns or columns times rows, the commutative property of multiplication. So I have two out of four columns, one out of three rows, and two out of 12 things are double colored. So that's how we model multiplication. But what about modeling division? When you model division, say I have five divided by three fourths. So I'm gonna draw a picture. I have five, so I'm gonna draw five things. One, two, three, four, five. I get rid of that number like a bad ex-boyfriend, bad ex-girlfriend. Don't wanna deal with that number anymore. And then I travel to the four. I'm gonna split each of them into fourths, right? So now each thing has four pieces. Once I'm done with that, I break it like a bad ex-boyfriend, bad ex-girlfriend, I get rid of it. Now three is my new groups. For every three pieces, I have one whole group. So here's how that works. One, 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 there's a group. Two, 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 there's a group. Three, 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 there's a group. Four, four, four. There's a group. Five, five, five. There's a group. Six, six, six. I have six whole groups and then two pieces left over. So I can write this as I made six whole groups and then I have two out of a group of three left over. So five divided by three fourths is six and two thirds. Let's check that mathematically. Five divided by three fourths. Keep, change, flip gives me 20 over three. 20 divided by three, three goes into 20 six times. Six times three is 18. I have two left over. Well, looky there. Six and two thirds. So my model and my math match up. So you take your whole number, split it into groups, which is the denominator, and the numerator becomes your new group number. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Love ya, bye.